But for some reason, this garden gives me a strong vibe of Alice in Wonderland. Perfect place if you are a fan of slow life. One of the owners of this villa was uh, walking around this garden naked. In Monsalice is a very particular place. It is found south from uh, Padua and it's not in a hilly area. However, there are two mountains, high hills uh, in here. One is the hill that Monsalice is found up into and there is another neighboring hill. And I guess that this uh, landscape and this particular area generates lots of um, legends and myths and there are actually legends about the foundation of Monselecha, some of which I'm gonna tell you in a minute. One of the legends about the foundation of Monselecha is linked to a Trojan hero named Ossicella, who allegedly escaped Troya after the war and came here first to Padua, which is nearby, to help them build the um, uh, defensive walls of the city and to help the local people build some uh, buildings, religious buildings as well. But after leaving Padua, he got into war with Eugani, which was the ancient population of people living here. He got injured and eventually found refuge here in the fortress of Monselice. He stayed here, building more defensive walls, building more uh, of the city, thus giving origin to Monselice. What do you think? Is it a probable origin of this town or not? I'm really curious to know. Another legend links the origins of Monselice to a beautiful legend of the local queen, Eugenia, and the king of the neighboring mountain called Sarpedone. It is said that he was a, a giant, three meters tall, who ate live animals. Eugenia, after not being able to come to a, any kind of an agreement with Sarpedone or who will rule this area and who will rule the city of Monselice, ordered to decapitate him. And this legend has a very peculiar confirmation or kind of confirmation because while some archaeological works were made here in Monselice and with the defensive walls of Monselice, a writing was found saying that in that place Queen Eugenia decapitated King Sarpedone. So people assumed, and rightly so, that that legend is probably the, the true legend of the origins of Monselice. And I am stunned by the amount of legends and myth here in Monselice because this area is so mystical in itself that it calls for this huge amount of legends. Monselice is a really cute little town and since it is a ter uh, thermal resort, you can actually feel it. I don't know why, but there is this feeling of holidays in here. There is this feeling of relax and uh, people just enjoying their life slowly. And it's definitely a perfect place if you are a fan of slow life and a fan of uh, a slow holiday. And yeah, I just think it's it really worth a visit and spending uh, a day here, maybe a few days visiting the uh, thermal pools, visiting the castle, the villas, and just strolling the streets and sitting in the bars. Because it's really, really cute and very relaxing place. The third and the last legend about the origins of Monselice for today is linked to an Etruscan prince Celio or Celio, which is also explaining the origins of the name of this place, Mount of Celio, Monselice, which for me seems like the most probable uh, legend. I'm really curious to know which one do you believe, so don't forget to leave me a comment telling me which legends do you prefer. Look at this beautiful castle. The castle of Monselice is very old and very beautiful and it just gives me such a huge Middle Ages vibe. There is med medieval music playing inside that you can hear just a little bit, which gives even more of the mystery touch to, to all of that. And I absolutely love it. Of course, the castle of Monselice has its own uh, story of ghosts, of spirits, because 
each respectful castle should have a spirit, right? A resident spirit. So I'm gonna tell you more about this spirit. But just look how beautiful it is. I can totally imagine a, a ghost appearing in one of these windows because it's so magical. Here, guys, you can see lots of dwarfs sitting on the wall because this place is also known as Villa dei Nani, the Villa of Dwarfs, and it's cute. It's a bit strange, but really cute. Just have a look. The view from here is really breathtaking, and I can totally get all this amount of legends surrounding Monsalice because if you look here, you can see that this area is not hilly at all. It's um, it, it's very normal, but just looking over there, you can see all those mountains that seem to appear from nowhere. And I bet that was the mountain where those uh, where that uh, King Sarpedona lived, because it really looks like you know the mountain suitable for a giant. So there is one only thing that we know for sure about the spirit of Castello di Monselice. It is a woman, her name is Avalda, and she appears as a short hidden. Look at that dog! I can't guys, I've been talking about serious things and I saw this dog and it was amazing. I absolutely love beagles. I'm sorry for that change of, um, of our topic. Anyway, back to the spirits and the mysteries. So, Evalda is her name. She's a woman, a short-haired woman, who appears to visitors or to just people passing by as uh, a woman dressed in a white dress stained with blood. Well, that's a kind of a creepy image. However, there are several legends linked to her origins all of them, of course, surrounding her death. Um, one legend says that Evaldo was a lover of Ezzelina da Romano, who was a tyrant here in Monselice. She also practiced black magic and knew how to use potions. So apparently the legend says that Ezzelina was tired from her cheating on him. But I believe that if that legend was to be true, he was probably scared of her because, you know, women are strong and sometimes man get scared of them so he allegedly killed her and now her spirit haunts this castle there is a very strange sight uh, up there however it's not strange at all to be honest it's just a wedding let's go have a look at local weddings in italy can you see that car i have no idea what's going on with that car how cute is this, guys? I think it's kind of local tradition. If you know why they've covered this car in toilet paper, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. But I think it's cute. There is also the writing saying that uh, the decisions of these two people brought them here, so now they'll be dancing together from today on. It's cute, no? I think it's really cute. Another legend linked to the apparition of Avalda's spirit in the castle is said uh, to be coming from the Middle Ages when Avalda was the wife of the local governor. However, during one of the receptions in their castle, Avalda cheated on him with Ezzelino da Romano. He is featuring in literally all legends surrounding this apparition. So, the husband was enraged and he killed his wife. He later killed Azzalino as well, according to the legend, but still, Avaldo's spirit haunts the castle of Monselice and all the local population.
Look at this villa in front of us. It's so, so beautiful. It has a very long history. It's been abandoned for a very long time. Uh, but now it's, uh, it's here and we can visit it from outside. However, just look at how beautiful is it. I think, you know, that tradition of uh, building the country houses, country villas of uh, the people of Padua mostly, but uh, also for, uh, for the people of uh, Venice, for wealthy people of Venice and Padua, they were building uh, their country houses, country villas here. And I can totally understand that tradition because this place is really beautiful. And you know, once the country houses looked like that, I would love to live in a country house like that, honestly. Can you guys imagine people living in places like this, spending their summer days in uh, their country house in the villa with uh, all these beautiful gardens and in such a beautiful amazing place. I don't know why but for some reason this garden gives me a strong vibe of Alice in Wonderland. I don't even know if it's more from the original book or from Tim Burton's movie but I don't know why. I just can't imagine um, Alice and all the characters of Alice in Wonderland walking around this garden even though it's not a maze it would have been even better if it was a maze but i absolutely love it i would love to spend some time in a villa like this some uh, old people from monselice are telling this story that in the 1930s one of the owners of this villa was uh, walking around this garden naked in order to uh, make less people coming here and to restrict the access and actually to limit the past buyers walking here and all wanting to explore the villa for themselves. I don't know if it worked actually or if it had the opposite effect. What do you think about it? Such a peculiar story, no, for, for this little town. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this uh, vlog, this video from Monselice. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos, to see more travel vlogs like this, to see more travel in Italy and hopefully abroad too. And I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to comment and put a thumbs up. Thank you for being here and enjoy your day.